I'm over here on reddit.com and on medium.com doing the knowledge, reading and learning more about Elastos, ELA. Elastos is a blockchain-based operating system, which they say here on their subreddit is the world's first open source internet operating system. It's the voice of the blockchain here, Satoshi's big cousin, cryptography's finest, Champagne Crypto. Thanks for tuning in and make sure you're kabooming the like button right now. Kaboom the like button right now. Kaboom the subscribe button right now. Drop a comment below right now. Let them know that the crypto maniacs are out here daily in the blockchain battlefield trenches doing our best to identify what could be the next boomer in the crypto world. Today we're talking about what is Elastos and will it boom? This is a third generation blockchain that we believe could be undervalued. Key word here, it could be undervalued. Today we'll be talking about what it is, learning a little bit more and how it compares to some other blockchains out there. Okay guys, uh, Elastos aims to create a new internet system powered by the blockchain. On this new internet, people will be able to own digital assets and generate wealth from them. Elastos will be used as the base layer infrastructure rather than an application. Again, as a base layer infrastructure rather than an app. Now, the dApps on Elastos are forced to never connect directly with the internet and only interact with the Elastos runtime. Uh, with this method, they say that the system is 90% more secure than the way the Internet of Things and smart devices currently work. Now, Elastos has three main fe features to their value proposition. Number one, security. Number two, the business to consumer dApps. And number three, the enterprise dApps, the business to business dApps, okay? Elastos often talks about facilitating a real digital asset economy where scarcity and thus resale trading of digital assets is possible. They give an example. Today, if you buy a movie on the internet, you can't resell it like you can in the real world, which Elastos thinks should be fixed. So apparently, uh, you'll be able to resell digital assets. And I believe uh, the way they're setting it up is that the producer of that digital assets will be able to receive revenue from the resales later on in the future of that asset, if I am not mistaken. Now, this uh, post goes on to talk a lot about the technicalities about Elastos. I'm not going to read the whole thing to you. I'll have it linked down below so you guys can check it out. Uh, you could definitely check out the medium.com where uh, they have plenty of articles. They'll be talk they're talking about a rebrand, okay, a rebrand for Elastos that's happening very soon this summer, which I believe could propel it into the mainstream. Now, Elastos right now is only trading on one exchange. It's currently trading at $46.98. It's up 5% today. It's ranked number 86. Now, it's only trading right now on the HUB or the uh, HUOB. I'm, not, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, but I believe this is a Korean exchange, uh, the HUB exchange right now and then the bcex exchange which is a very small exchange they got very small volume out there so basically only on one sort of major exchange out there in korea okay and they're planning a rebrand okay this may propel it to main street we don't know now this reddit the subreddit beginner's guide to elastos talks about uh eos versus elastos because they're making some comparison now we know that eos completely kaboomed these past couple of weeks and you know champagne uh enjoys learning more about eos and i'm a supporter of eos i think eos could be a boomer now some people are questioning whether eos went up too quick these past couple of weeks and whether it could be overvalued right now okay and now we're checking out elastos ranked 86 is this one undervalued okay it's very similar they got the similar uh uh, traits of being that it's a, a blockchain operating system. Now, if you scroll down here on this subreddit post, uh, they talk about uh, EOS versus Elastos. Now, EOS is dependent on a main chain. So no matter how optimized it becomes, its throughput is limited, says here on the uh, subreddit of Elastos. Okay, EOS through adoption of the delegated proof of stake can realize high throughput rate. Elastos computation bandwidth is distributed according to the number of tokens held 
it refers to the design philosophy of time slice distribution in the traditional multi-tax operating system and encourages community to hold tokens. The main chain design focuses on improving extensibility for smooth access to side chain. Now, this in, is a fancy way of just saying that they have side chains, okay, and uh, it, that it's it's not dependent on one main chain like EOS is now. Uh, the way Elastos is being set up is that they have the main chain, but they'll be able to connect to a bunch of side chains somehow. Uh, and they are arguing that this is more efficient. Now, I don't know. You know, Champagne is not a techie, so I don't know if this is true or not. Uh, but I'm definitely paying attention. And, I, you know, I got my eyes focused on there. Okay. So, uh, you know, they have a lot of information here on the Medium uh, on the reddit.com subreddit okay and uh, being that elastos is here at number 86 i am questioning whether the market cap of currently 240 million dollars has room to grow closer to a billy to 1 billion out there crypto maniacs okay i got my eyes on elastos ela it's definitely on my watch list this week and hopefully uh uh, into the future, but uh, it smells like it could be a boomer. I'm learning more. I want you guys to drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about it, what you've learned out there. Each one teach one here in the crypto maniac space, guys. It's how we continue to boom worldwide. Drop a comment below. Let me know what's shaking and baking. What do you think about Elastos ELA? How does it compare to some of your other favorite tokens out there on the cryptocurrency market caps? And do you think that this is a perhaps a competitor to EOS and other smart contracts and DAP platforms like Ethereum, uh, like Cardano, like NEO? There's other ones out there, guys. Uh, and definitely this Elastos has caught my attention because not too many people are talking about it. And it's uh, ranked uh, still uh, at, you know, above the, the 50, the top 50, you know, it's within the top 100. You know, could this slide into, a, you know, a, a rank number 50? Could it rank number 30? And if that's true, you know, this $46 price, could it hit 100? Could it hit 150? Okay, I want to know, what do you think out there, crypto maniacs? It smells like a possible boomer, okay? I'm not going to go ahead and say it's a boomer for sure, but uh, I'm definitely questioning it. It looks sexy. It's attractive right now, and I'm learning more. I'm interested to know what you guys think about it. Drop a comment below right now, and again, make sure you kaboom the like button. Kaboom the subscribe button. Let them know that you're part of the 15,000, the 16,000 crypto maniacs who are subscribed. Uh, the tribe is growing. Uh, we are expecting Bitcoin to hit a $1 trillion market cap by the end of the year, if not by the beginning of 2019. We have positive energy on the networks. Each one teach one. The boomers are here. Drop a comment below. It's the voice of the blockchain here. Satoshi's big cousin. Cryptography's finest. Your favorite YouTuber's favorite YouTuber. Champagne Crypto. Thanks for tuning in.